Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in today's session, we are going to solve a revised simplex method problem. Okay, so we'll solve a given LPP in a revised simplex method, right? So we have the question here. We have max z equals x1 plus 2x2, which are subjected to constraints x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 3, x1 plus 2x2 less than or equal to 5, and 3x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 6 okay now i will give you the step by step procedures how exactly we are going to solve uh, this problem okay so first of all we have to convert all the uh, inequalities whatever we have it in the constraints to the equality condition then we will proceed further with the standard forms okay we will find uh, what are the values of z x1 x2 similarly if there is any uh, uh, new introduction of variables are going to come of course it is going to come because we have that less than or equal to symbols right so there will be three slack variables and then we will uh, move towards the matrix formats okay and after that we will uh, uh, start uh, uh, proceeding with the iteration one using the revised simplex table then we will test for the optimality and then we will get the improved solutions and based on that we will decide whether we need to proceed further or we have to uh, proceed with the uh, another iterations okay until we get all the positive values and then finally we are going to determine what are the optimal solution and uh, by uh, deriving the value of z x1 x2 okay so i will so start solving the problem as i primarily said you that we are going to first convert trying to convert all the inequalities into the equality equation so i'm going to concentrate only on the constraints here so uh, the same problem i'm going to convert the inequalities into equality so what happens here <coughs> z becomes same okay that is same x1 plus 2x2 uh, but it will be subjected to constraints we will introduce now all the uh, slack variables here okay so it, it will be written as x1 plus x2 uh, plus s1 equals to 3 and this becomes x1 plus 2x2 plus s2 equals 5 and then uh, 3x1 plus x2 plus s3 equal to 6 and finally we have to write all basic uh, uh, basic and non-basic variables that's x1 x2 s1 s2 and s3 all are greater than or equal to uh, 0 okay now we will move on to the standard form one okay let us move on to the the first standard form right so how are we going to write that we will check it out now so uh, let me write the side heading standard form okay standard form one okay so here first we will write, uh, write the uh, objective function so it is z uh, and to make it into an equality condition you know how we are going to write it right so it will be z uh, minus x1 minus 2 x2 right and we have three uh, slack variables so it will be written as 0 into s1 plus 0 into s2 plus 0 into s3 equal to 0 okay similarly for the constraints we have x1 plus x2 okay plus uh, we have s1 plus uh, we do not have slack variable 2 right 0 s2 plus 0 s3 okay equal to 3 equal to 3 then we have uh, x1 again and we have 2 x2 okay then we have 0 s1 uh, we have s2 we have 0 s3 right 0 s3 equal to 5 and uh, after that we have 3x1 plus x2 plus 0s1 plus 0s2 plus s3 equal to 6 and finally and all x1 x2 s1 s2 s3 all are greater than or equal to 0 so this is the standard form now we will consider the the same standard form in terms we will represent it in terms of a matrix okay so now let us write the matrix for the same now let's see how we are going to write the matrix for this okay so uh, 
the matrix form for the same will be so what are the side headings we have to write it first that will be z then we can see that here we have total five basic and non basic variables right x1 x2 s1 s2 s3 so how i will write it i will name it as a1 to uh, a5 okay and i will uh, write it as a1 a1 of 1 means uh, the value a1 of standard form 1 okay if i am going to standard form 2 then i'll write a1 of 2 okay a1 of 1 then i'll write uh, a2 of 1 then it is a3 of 1 uh, this becomes a4 of 1 and we have the fifth variable that's a5 of 1 okay and uh, this we are going to write the matrix form here okay now let us write so z becomes 1 here and uh, look at the above standard form and uh, just write it here okay uh, this is minus 1 so actually uh, you can uh, if, if you're getting confused you can write here above so x a1 is nothing but x1 this is nothing but uh, x2 this is nothing but uh, okay s1 s2 and s3 so we usually also call uh, we can make this uh, to consider this as a slack variables we usually rewrite it as beta 1 of 1 okay and this will be beta 2 of 1 okay and this will be beta 3 of 1 like this okay so beta 1 of 1 is a slack variable first slack variable another name is a3 beta 2 of 1 is a4 beta 3 of 1 is a5 just to differentiate the basic variable with the non basic variable okay so non basic variables are a1 of 1 a2 of 1 basic variables are beta 1 of 1 beta 2 of 1 and beta 3 of 1 okay please do remember that right now we will start writing it so here uh, uh, this becomes minus 2 and these are 0 0 and 0 correct right and here also let us go to the uh, first constraint so z is not there so it is 0 uh, 1 1 1 0 0 and the second constraint will be uh, 0 1 uh, 2 1 uh, sorry it's 0 right 0 and this is 1 and this is uh, 0 okay this also becomes 0 okay this becomes 3 uh, this is 1 0 0 1 right so this is the first uh, matrix form so this will be this will be multiplied with the the name of all the basic and non basic variables so that will be z x1 x2 right and three basic variables s1 s2 and which is equal to the right hand side value so what are those 0 3 5 and 6 okay so this is the matrix representation of the given problem so now we have to start with the first iterations that is the two tables we have to introduce now one is a revised simplex table another is a additional table that means in revised simplex table we are going to consider the objective function z uh, along with the basic variables that is beta 1 beta 2 and beta 3 okay and in additional table we are taking non basic variables these are all uh, a1 of 1 and a2 of 1 we are just trying to separate the basic with the non basic variables okay so let us draw the table i'll draw it here Okay. so what I will do means first I will take uh, I will write the iteration one so this is the iteration one okay first iteration in the iteration one I have a, a revised uh, simplex table okay revised uh, simplex table so in the revised simplex table I have the uh, basic variables right so first I need to write all my uh, basic variables okay uh, and then after that I have a uh, beta 1 inverse so I need to write beta 1 inverse so under that I will have again uh, the values are same as z okay and I will take only the the slack variable beta 1 of 1 uh, beta 2 of 1 and beta 
3 of 1 okay along with the z right so this will be the uh, beta 1 inverse and then I have uh, the uh, the RHS okay that's XB we call it as XB okay uh, then I have the columnar vector that is XK we are going to compute the there is a formula for that to compute okay so that I'm going to do next and after that we have to uh, divide XP by XK this is for uh, checking which are the entering variables uh, sorry for the leaving variables okay XK so this is the first revised table okay uh, so so here also basic variables are Z and in this place I'll write S1 S2 and S3 so here I wrote beta 1 of 1 beta 2 of 1 beta 3 of 1 so here I will write S1 S2 and S3 now we'll fill up the values Z and Z is 1 uh, Z uh, with the beta 1 uh, of dash that will be 0 this will be 0 this will also be 0 and uh, this will be 0 this and uh, this will be 1 okay so 0 0 here also 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 okay so this looks like an identity matrix and we will write all the uh, the rhs side so what are the values 0 3 5 and 6 okay now this is the first table the second table i told you additional table along with this we have to write one more table called as additional table okay so i will write here as additional table okay in the additional table we have only two columns which are those two columns one is a1 of 1 that's the first non basic variable another is a2 of 1 okay and in a1 of 1 what are the values we have you can see that in the table here a1 of 1 we had minus 1 1 1 3 and in a2 of 1 minus 2 1 2 1 okay see the matrix and write it here so a1 of 1 will be minus 1 1 1 3 right and a2 of 1 will be minus 2 1 2 1 so so we are written the revised simplex table and additional table now we have to test for optimality guys okay we will test for the optimality so let us test for optimality okay so the formula is delta j is equal to first row okay we have to consider the first row of beta 1 inverse first row of beta 1 inverse this multiplied by a j of 1 age of n okay okay so n represents the which is the standard form here right so this is the formula now how are we going to write this so we have uh, two non basic variables right a1 of 1 and a2 of 1 so there will be delta 1 and delta 2 uh, values you have to find out here so first of all i will write delta 1 is equal to delta 1 is a first row of beta 1 inverse what is the first row of beta 1 inverse here so this is your beta 1 inverse step in the first row it's 1 0 0 0 only till here you have to consider okay so write that so it will be 1 1 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 so that will be multiplied with the a1 first one is this one a1 of 1 so that is minus 1 1 1 3 okay write that minus 1 minus 1 1 1 3 so what is the answer just multiply 1 into minus 1 is minus 1 and rest all are 0 so the answer is minus 1 similarly find uh, delta 2 so what is delta 2 so again the first row that is 1 0 comma 0 comma 0 that into minus 2 1 2 1 so this will give you the answer minus 2 so actually you have to get all both a positive value here but since we got both negative and uh, uh, we have to find the most negative value so that we can determine the incoming vector okay uh, so we have to find the entering variable or incoming vector so among this one the most negative value is minus 2 minus 2 
so this is uh, the most negative value and uh, this is for the second uh, uh, this thing uh, second non basic variable that's a2 of 1 right so i will consider this as the incoming vector incoming vector this will be the incoming vector now okay now we have to test also the outgoing vector right for that we have to find the value of xk so this xk column if we can compute we will divide xb by xk and then we will see which is the least one and then we will get the leaving vector incoming vector we can get it through testing for optimality now we'll uh, derive the formula for the column vector xk okay so i'll write the formula here so now we are going to compute the column column vector xk right so what is the formula so xk will be written as beta 1 inverse into the selected column which is that a2 of 1 right so i'll write a2 of 1 so what is beta 1 inverse that we have to check now what is that beta 1 inverse here we are not going to consider only the first row the complete beta 1 inverse that's the pure identity matrix here so i will write it here so i'm going to write the the complete table of the beta 1 inverse so that is written as 1 0 0 0 then it is 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 so that is beta 1 inverse this multiplied by the a2 of 1 that is what a2 of 1 is what a2 of minus 2 1 2 1 i'll multiply that minus 2 1 2 and 1 so what is the answer for this anything any number multiplied by the identity matrix will remain same so minus 2 minus 2 1 2 and 1 okay this one so that is the values we got for the xk now we are going to fill this value in this column minus 2 1 2 1 right so we'll fill it here we'll fill it here so i'll write minus 2 1 2 1 okay i wrote it here right minus 2 1 2 1 okay now you have to divide xb by xk xb was 0 by minus 2 we are not going to consider anything right so it is dash we are not going to consider 3 by 1 we use it 3 5 by 2 will give you around 2.5 and uh, 6 by 1 will give you 6 out of this which is the least one that is 2.5 2.5 okay so now what we need to check means we have to write the improved solution for this so 2.5 being the uh, the leaving vector for the 2.5 uh, this will go to s2 so now you have to replace this s2 with some other value so how do we replace this s2 so uh, let us see that this s2 has to be replaced so what we can replace this s2 with s2 means what actually beta 2 of 1 okay if you see that uh, here s2 means actually what what is leaving us s2 s2 is what beta 2 of 1 so what is beta 2 of 1 is nothing but a4 of 1 that means that means this entire table so next time when you're going to uh, solve this further so this table will be replaced by a4 of 1 because s2 is leaving us and in place of this s2 x2 will come x2 will sit here okay in place of that uh, s2 x2 will sum. why because what is left a2 of 1 so in place of a2 of 1 we'll write x2 so here s2 will be replaced by uh, x2 and that a2 of 1 will be replaced by a4 of 1 please make a note of this correct so a21 a2 of 1 way was the incoming vector right a2 of 1 way was the incoming vector okay so now when it came the incoming vector we determined xk and we found the living vector which was a living vector s2 right what is s2 s2 is nothing but a4 of 1 that's the reason i told you in the next solution the next iteration so this entire column will be replaced by a4 of 1 so what is the a4 of 1 here 0010 0, 0. okay and then uh, we can see that uh, a2 of 1 has left us what is a2 of 1 uh, that is nothing but x2 so in place of this s2 we will write uh, x2 that's all okay so now we will uh, try to compute the improved uh, solution so we have complete, completed till here right we completed till here 
so after the testing for optimality we have to check for the improved solution okay so i'm going to solve the improved solution here okay so how to get the improved solution So what we have to consider here, we have to, uh, we are not supposed to change the first column that is Z and we have to consider rest of the value. See, so where we, where is that we are computed here. This one. So we have to, we should not change this. Okay, we will consider only these four columns. Beta 1 of 1, Beta 2 of 1, Beta 3 of 1 and XB. Only this much okay only this much right these four columns we are going to consider and we are going to find the new improved solution and then we will see whether we get all the delta j value as positive or not okay so what i will do i will write it here uh, since we are considering only beta 1 of 1 uh, beta 2 of 1 and beta 3 of 1 and xb right xb we are considering okay and here uh, so what is the values uh, 0 0 0 0 then it will be 1 0 0 3 then after that 0 1 0 5 right and then 0 0 1 6 okay so this will be the new uh, matrix and let us also write row 1 row 2 row 3 and row 4 and uh, this is multiplied with the xk values so the xk values what we have it is uh, minus 2 right and 1 2 and 1 but we got uh, see here so what have we done here improved solution we just went here simplex table beta 1 of inverse here we have taken only this uh, without touching the first column only second column third column fourth column fifth column and sixth column we are taken okay that's what i written it here same values you can see there correct and then what i did is now which is the living vector that's the third row third row is a living vector right so we can see that third row is what here this one this one right two third row so this is the living vector now so if i lead, consider it as a living vector i need to make this as one okay so now what i will have this will be the intersection variable third row was the living vector so this become the intersection variable or the incoming vector so now make this as row this entire row is one okay means this two as one so of course you will get the new formula for r3 one the minus two and one the upper two values minus two one and the lower value one it has to be made zero so now you can apply the same simplex method uh, okay the same steps you can follow and you can derive the new solution so what will be the formula for r1 here so what will be the formula for r1 so, oh, you can simply say r1 is equal to r1 so it is minus 2 i'll write plus 2 into r3 okay so what is the formula for r2 r2 is equal to r2 it is 1 now so i'll write minus 1 into r3 so it is r2 minus r3 r3 will be r3 by 2 right and r4 will be r4 minus r3 so this is your new formula so doing that applied to the matrix all these things value okay and find first we have to find for the third row so that is r3 by 2 so we have to make the 2 as 1 so it will reflect for the entire uh, row so this becomes 0 and this is uh, okay so you can just uh, try to solve this so this becomes 1 by 2 and this is 0 and 5 by 2 right and now we'll go for r1 so r1 becomes uh, 0 1 0 and 5 r2 becomes 0, 1 minus half okay 0 and half and r4 becomes 0 minus half 1 and 7 by 2 okay right so that is what we do okay and what is the value here also so these two values will be of course 0 and this value will be 1 and this value will be uh, 0 right so we got this uh, new solution right uh, now we have to 
we have to substitute this new solution to the original problem and check whether you are going to get uh, all the positive values for the delta j so now we'll go for the second iteration so that's the second iteration right iteration 2 so we'll write the iteration 2 so in the iteration 2 first of all what will be there same right basic variables basic variable okay same thing you have to draw the same table which i drawn earlier okay here it will be uh, beta 1 inverse right after that we have uh, xb then we have uh, xk after that we have xd by xk okay so what are the basic variable uh, this is first one is z uh, then is the s1 the third row was the living vector so i told you already right uh, that s2 this one s2 will be replaced by x2 okay s2 will be replaced by x2 so i'll write it as x2 there and this will remain same that is s3 okay here also uh, first value will be z we are not going to change so this will be beta 1 of 1 beta 2 of 1 and beta 3 of 1 okay and now i'm going to write what what values we had no here these values will be replaced this entire values will be replaced as a the new set of value that is what we got here okay so z we are not going to change so z remains same right the first row column will remain same for you okay so what is the first column one uh, that was same one zero 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 okay so rest all the things we will replace with the uh, this answer what we got zero one zero five like that okay so let us write that so i'll write it as a row by row so you can see zero one zero five then second row will be one minus half zero half right third row will be zero half zero five by two fourth row will be zero minus half one and seven by two okay right and now we have to uh, write the additional table also right we have to draw the additional table okay so let us uh, draw the additional table here so additional table so in the additional table uh, a1 of 1 will remain same but uh, a2 of 1 will be replaced with the a4 of 1 correct no you can see here a1 of a2 of 1 has left us a21 of 1 has left us okay and what left is s2 s2 so now in place of the a21 of 1 we will write a4 of 1 and in that play, uh, column values we will put 0010 0, 0. so i'll write a4 of 1 here a4 of 1 and i will write 0 0 1 zero a one of one will remain same so the what the what is the value minus one 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 three so this will remain same okay now again you uh, check for the uh, the value of uh, test for the optimality the value of delta j and all okay now, now we'll test for optimality so you have to keep doing until you get all the value of uh, delta 1 and delta 2 positive okay so here delta 1 what is the value the first row of uh, beta 1 inverse that is 1 0 1 0 that into right 1 minus 1 that's the first column minus 1 1 1 3 so what is the answer 1 into minus 1 minus 1 plus 0 into 1 0 plus 1 into 1 1 plus 0 into 3 0 so minus 1 plus 1 will give you 0 and what is the value of delta 2 1 0 1 0 that into 0 comma 0 comma 1 comma 0 so this will give you the answer 1 right yeah, now you can see that both the values are positive since both the values of uh, delta 1 and delta 2 are positive we have reached the 
optimal solution so what is optimal solution final solution we have to see here okay see the values and give me the answer so what is optimal solution here what is the value of uh, max z here now so max z becomes max z becomes 5 right so you see the rhs where is z here first row z rhs here okay correct to no? now 1 right and you can see there is no x1 here if there is no x1 x1 becomes 0 i'll write at x1 equal to 0 and do you have x2 here yes we have x2 so x2 value will be what what is the value of x2 in the rhs you can see xb value that is 5 by 2 okay that is 5 by Okay, so max z is equal to 5 at x1 equal to 0 and x2 equal to 5 by 2. So now if you substitute this value in the question, if you do it uh, substitute in the question, you can see what is the value of x1? x1 is 0, x2 is what? Uh, 5 by 2. So 2 into 5 by 2 is how much? 5. So what is the value of z? 5. So LHS is equal to RHS. So this is how we solve the given problem using revise the simplex method so what is the steps we had taken first we had converted all the uh, the constraints the inequalities into equality constraints and after that we have uh, taken the standard form one right zero three five six all the rhs value we got it then we have converted the entire equation into the matrix form and after that we started with the first iteration so we have two tables revise simplex table and additional tables and we have separated the basic variable with the non-basic variables and after that uh, we have tested for optimality so we had uh, the formula delta j is the first row of beta 1 inverse into aj and uh, delta 1 and delta 2 we got first negatives that's the reason we had uh, computed the value of xk here okay so xk formula is beta 1 inverse into the selected column that's the incoming vector and that is what we did so uh, we got the answer same because it was multiplied with the identity matrix and then we proceeded further to the improved solution right so uh, in that we have selected only the the slack variables and the uh, the rhs value along with the column vector so that is what we selected we didn't touch the value of z and uh, uh, since we got the third uh, uh, row as the uh, the living vector right here after we compute the xb by xk we got the third uh, uh, row incoming vector so in that two became the intersecting value so we have to make this two s1 rest of the values upper and lower values has to be made zero we are written the formula for all the rows and we got the improved solution and that we had substituted in the beta 1 of inverse xb and uh, xb values right and uh, since uh, uh, a2 of 1 was left okay a2 of 1 was left uh, that a2 of 1 will be was replaced by a4 of 1 and uh, in place of s2 we got a new value x2 right and that is what we wrote it in the second iteration and then again we computed for the optimality we got both the answers as positive delta 1 0 and delta 2 as 1 and then once we got it we need not to compute further for xk value Th directly we, can, we have reached the optimal solution since we got both the values of delta 1 and delta 2 as positive and then we got uh, the compute the value of z that is 5 uh, there is no x1 here that's why the reason i wrote x1 equal to 0 and x2 equal to 5 by 2 okay so if you have any queries with reg regarding to this uh, problem please drop your comments in the comment section below thank you so much for watching